Now the sub 4 meter SUV segment has been lively again with the Venue and the new Brezza as well as the punch from earlier. Now if you are Renault who have a strong contender on their hands like the Tiger, you'd want to cover off the competition promptly which is exactly what this 2022 Renault Tiger is for. Now this is a minor upgrade to the Renault Tiger but small and useful changes have been made both inside and out. Now the biggest change is this new stealth black shade of paint which works quite well with this silver skid plate that has been added. You have this quite discreet red background to the Renault lozenge in the alloy wheels. And moving on, you get this turbo badging, this white turbo badging which doesn't quite stand out in this black shade but looks quite nice in the other colours. Similarly, you get a gloss black door handle now, again not quite visible on this black one but in a red or blue colour it will look quite nice. Now moving along at the back, there's a small change, you get this chrome strip which again with this dark shade of black works quite well, it sort of balances out the other dark bits at the back. Now for what's changed on the inside of the Renault Kiger, you get more features, the most important of which is this wireless charger, which works quite well because you have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on this 8-inch touchscreen, so it ties in perfectly. You also now get cruise control and the buttons for the cruise control here and a PM 2.5 air filter. They're all useful features, aside from what is already on the Kiger, like this uh, drive modes, the ambient lighting, the climate control and this digital instrumentation. Although we would have liked to have seen maybe auto dimming mirrors and cooled seats as an addition, but otherwise the Kaiga is now even more well equipped than it always was. Now the discreet red highlights that you saw on the outside, they carried over inside as well. So you have this faded honeycomb effect here and the stitching over here, this red stitching, which again, it livens up this quite dark cabin well enough. And like before, you have a great frontal view out, although this pillar is a bit too thick and it sort of limits visibility in this part. You can raise your seat height, so that's not a problem. And there are large storage spaces all around. The Renault Kaiga continues with its safety proposition unchanged. The Kaiga has good safety credentials with the 4-star NCAP safety rating, 4 airbags, isofix seat mounts and so on. Now as before, there's a great amount of space in the rear seat. You have quite a bit of legroom. Under thigh support is good for the sub 4 meter SUV and you get quite a bit of headroom as well, at least for my height. But again, like earlier, this high window line and this generally dark theme sort of takes away from the sense of space, although as you can see, there is quite a bit of space. And also, we would have liked maybe to have seen some type of USB charging here instead of these 12 volt sockets. But aside from that, again, at the rear, the Kyger is still a great car. The Renault Kyger remains mechanically unchanged with this update. So the base engine is the 1 litre naturally aspirated petrol with 72 PS and 96 Newton meters, pairing with either a 5 speed manual or an AMT. The higher spec engine is the 1 litre turbo petrol, now also available in the mid spec RXTO variant. Now, in terms of the way the 2022 Kyger drives, as you would expect, there's no real difference, which means that at idle, there's quite a bit of that clatter and vibration still remaining. But once you're on the move, you realize that this turbo petrol and CVT combination is the best version of the Kaiga. And like before, the turbo petrol isn't the most energetic one around, but it has a wide and linear power band, which makes making progress smooth and easy. And of course, you have this CVT, which is, as we said many times before, is one of the nicest ones in this segment. Like before, it'll keep you always in the power band. It's working away in the background. There's none of that delay or the rubber band effect which means that making progress is completely smooth in any situation, whether you're on a highway or on a narrow road such as this one. And like before, you get these three drive modes, Eco, Normal and Sport. And again, the Eco mode is a bit too conservative to make driving easy and stress-free. You're struggling with the car a little bit. And the Sport mode is a bit too jumpy for normal traffic use, and it's best suited for the highway. So in the Normal mode, the Kaiga is just fine, and. You can drive it as it is anywhere you want to in the normal mode. We would have liked to have seen the Kaiga become a touch more pliant over badly broken patches at low speeds. But the steering is light yet still precise. The Kaiga feels poised at highway speeds and quite sure footed around corners. So driving it is usually not a hassle. Prices for the 2022 Renault Kaiga now start at Rs 5.99 lakh and go up to Rs 10.62 lakh. Now this is a marginal increase for quite a few new features and a sharpened up look. And if you are on a budget looking for a small sub 4 meter SUV, then the Kaiga is an option you cannot ignore in this segment.